let me go ahead and get started here today. Um, I'm bringing you this uh, information because I think you guys need to know it. I have proof that the Catholic Church is a cult. Okay, let me get started with. The Catholic religion is a cult, and you need to read the King James Version Bible. Okay, Pope Francis is the false prophet. All you have to do is just Google Pope Francis to unify world religion, and you can read the article. Okay, I would like everybody to repent and ask Jesus to forgive them, and write your name and write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Read John 3:16 in the King James Version Bible. The King James Version Bible, in my opinion, is the bona fide Word of God, and that's the one I use, and I suggest everyone else uses it too. Uh, if you dismiss me and don't want to look at the video or whatever, that's your choice. But I would urge you to uh, watch the video in its entirety. Um, don't take the mark of the beast, don't worship the image, um, and uh, repent. If you worship the image and you take the mark of the beast in your hand or your forehead, you damn your soul to hell. It's in the Bible. Okay, the definition of a cult is a great devoted devotion to a person, idea, object, or movement. The great devotion to a person is Pope Francis. He likes to be worshipped, walked around all the time, everybody sees him, he's known. The idea, one world religion, he wants to have one world religion. Objective. The objective, a material thing that can be seen and touched. Well, an op no, not objective, I'm sorry, it's an object. It's an object. It's not objective, it's object. The object that can be seen and touched is obviously the Virgin Mary. Okay. The movement, a campaign undertaken by a group of people working together. Okay, well, I Google Pope Francis and it says, U.S. Catholics join with Pope Francis and campaign to share the journey of migrants and refugees. Okay, movement is a shared campaign undertaken by a group of people working together. Okay, these are all definitions of a cult. Okay, in Matthew 23, 9, King James Version, the Bible says, Call no man father upon the earth, for one is the Father, which is in heaven. The Pope likes to be called Father. That violates the Ten Commandments. You're not supposed to call any man a father but God. Okay? Exodus 20, 3 through 6. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make, any, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord God, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Okay? Well, the graven image is the Virgin Mary. And it says you ain't supposed to have any worship any idols. Well, there's pictures of it. Go online and Google it. People bowing down to Mary. You're not supposed to worship any idols. Okay. And then uh, these are all out of the King James. All the scriptures I'm quoting to you is out of the King James Version Bible. Okay. Uh, Revelation 13, 7, King James. And it was given to him to make war with the saints. This is talking about the false prophet. Okay, which I believe Pope Francis is the false prophet. And it was given to him to make a war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given to him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. Well, that's the one world religion that he's uni unifying. Come on, people, think. Pope Francis to the church. Okay, this is Google it. All you have to do is Google Pope Francis. He becomes more accepting to gays and cath uh, gays and divorce in the Catholic Church. Okay, well in Leviticus 18:22, thou shalt not lie with man as a womankind. It is an abomination. I'm sorry for you gay and lesbian people out there. It's an abomination. And you're going to hell. That's just in the Bible. You can be all upset about it. You can say, oh, you're this is the thing. You know, it's factual. And you'll find out when you die and go to hell. And you'll burn forever. I'm telling you right now, if you're a gay and lesbian person, you're going to go, and a transsexual, transgender, it's an abomination, you're going to go to hell. I'm being honest with you. Okay? 
I mean, you take it for a grain of salt, take it what it's worth, but I'm being honest with you. Okay? Romans 1, 26 through 28. For this cause, get, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in the lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their own error, which was meat. And, and even as they did not like to return to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. I think it is. I think it is. Anyway, basically what I'm saying is, because you want to be gay, lesbian, transsexual, bisexual, whatever it is, God's going to let you go ahead and do that, okay, and you'll damn your soul to hell. He's going to, turn, he's going to take his hands off of you pretty much and just let you go ahead because you're an abomination. So he's going to go ahead and let you just... Do your own thing, you wind up in hell burning, and it blood's off his hands, you're an abomination. That's basically what Father God is telling you in Romans 1, 26-28. So, after you watch this video, I would advise you to repent, come to God, and if you're a Catholic, get out of the Catholic Church because it's a cult. It's led by the false prophet, okay? And he's deceiving you guys into thinking that that's the only religion you should follow. And I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest with you. I felt led to tell you people this. Okay, um, I believe the rapture is getting ready to happen pretty soon, and uh, keep in mind there's going to be seven years of tribulation after the rapture takes place, and I believe that after the rapture takes place, that's when the seven years of tribulation starts. Um, you're going to be forced to take the mark of the beast in your hand or your forehead. If you take it, you damn your soul to hell. Okay, if you don't take it, they'll behead you. They'll cut your head off. So. I mean, this is going to be it's going to be a bad time. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say on the subject. I'm going to let you guys make your own decision, and if you want to go to hell, that's on you. But I told you the truth, and it's how it is. And I mean, I can't put it in a planner than that. If you're in a Catholic, you need to re-examine your faith, and read the King James Version Bible, and examine your beliefs, examine what you see. Um, if you're gay, lesbian, transsexual, bisexual, you might need to repent. You need to repent, not might need, you need to repent and ask God to forgive you. Write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life and uh, so you can be you can save your soul. Alright, well, I'm pretty much done.